Hi, welcome to Brenda Beattie's Brushstrokes, and I'm Brenda Beattie. This channel is all about art. Drawing, painting with acrylics, watercolors, and ink. It has tips and tricks, as well as step-by-step -step tutorials. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell so that you'll be notified each time I create a new video. This video is number five in the Beginner's Guide to Watercolor series. It is about creating the flat wash. The flat wash is a technique that is fundamental to watercolors. If you want to be able to put a solid block of color down without any brush strokes, you must learn how to do a flat wash. It's not difficult, it just takes a little practice. I'm also going to show you the graded wash. The graded wash is the one we most commonly use for sky, although it has other uses, as you will see. I hope you enjoy this. So I'm going to talk about the flat wash first. Uh, when do we use a flat wash? Well, whenever you want a solid bit of color. So the first uh, thing is that we don't want to run out of paint. I'll use ultramarine blue and mix a lot of paint because with any washes you don't want to run out of paint. And we start at the top and go across. I'll pick up more paint. You can see this bead, this bit of color here. And I'm going to pick it up as I go. And you can't, uh, your paper has to be slanted. And you can't wait. It has to stay wet while you're doing it. You pick that bead up as you go. That bead, what's a bead? That's this little pool of paint that collects at the bottom of every stroke. And each time I go back and get more paint. So we don't want any brush strokes. We just want solid color. And this is how it's done. You might have to practice a couple of times before it comes out the way you want it. The big thing is you can't go back in. You have to leave it. If you think, if you think, gee, I missed a spot and try to go back in, you'll just wreck it. When we get to the bottom, we suck this up with a dry brush. And this as well. So where would I use a flat wash? Well, I might want to use it for some background trees. It's a point in time when it would be very nice to have something masks. <laughs> Should I use my masking fluid? Perhaps this barn? make it darker I want to show you how to get rid of a very hard line so I just made one here I'm gonna let it dry a little But what I wanted to show you is now I have this quite hard line here and I want to soften it so I'm going to wet it, dry off my brush, and just smooth it out a bit. That gets rid of a really harsh line.
I'm going to show you the variegated wash. Let's add a little water over here, make sure it's got lots of, lots of uh, paint. As I said before, we don't want to run out of paint. Uh, graded wash is what I'm, uh, I might have said variegated. Graded is right now with ultramarine blue. On dry paper. And you can do it on wet paper, but this is dry paper. So, I dip my brush in water each time I go and just I don't know if you can see that I'm wiping it on the side I dip my brush in water and just wipe it on the side each time and my brush uh, my my paper is slanted. I've got it sitting on a masking, a roll of masking tape. So it's at an angle that I like. The gravity will help to push the paint down the page. And now I'll just clean this up. And we're done. So you see it starts very dark and goes to light. Now, how will I use that? I'm going to use it on the sky over here. So I start out dark. Oops. Skies are usually darker at the at the top and get lighter as they go down. This can also be done in wet. So for this part, I'm going to wet the paper here. I'll just show you what happens when you use wet paper. This might not be the best place to do graded wash. So for this, I load the brush once, just run the wet paper. It's only going to go where there's water. And you see with the wet wash, it does get lighter as it goes down, but not as, uh, as light as this, although I didn't have as far down the page to go. Now I'll just finish this up, make it a monochromatic painting, or maybe I'll use the round brush. I'm going to let it dry before I continue to paint the trees. Now that it's dried, I will just use some more blue to paint the trees. Finish this. 